Hey, 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 it's Melissa from Melissa Marketing here. Let me take off my glasses. Just enjoying the gorgeous sun. And my dog is with me. I love being outside and taking a break from work and sitting in the gorgeous sun. And today is gorgeous. So I thought I'd give you guys a video here while I am enjoying my time out in nature. And I wanted to talk to you today about email automation and lead generation. So if you guys are a new business or you are just trying to gain credibility, I always say the best place to start in looking and finding your customers, of course, is in Facebook advertising because you need to build a following. It is really important to have a following that is targeted. So a lot of times companies come to me and they say, oh, we're going to build a business and we're going to go out and buy email lists that are targeted. Let me tell you about email lists. They aren't targeted. If you are purchasing an email list, they may find for you emails of a specific type of person that has one specification. It's not going to be the highly targeted Facebook style um, specific targeted type of person that you need. Was that even proper English? I don't know. I am working on two hours of sleep here, so bear with me. But when we use Facebook, we are able to target several different variables. And when you can target very a lot of different variables, you really need to be stereotypical when you are targeting. That's the only time you will ever hear me say it's good to be stereotypical. So if you are targeting someone for your business, you know that the best client or the best customer of your company is a woman in her 30s, she's married, she has college a background, um, she's gone to college, she has an education, and she likes reading People Magazine, for example. You're not going to be able to find that in an email list that you purchase. You will only be able to find that in Facebook marketing. So that's why Facebook marketing is extremely effective and very powerful because you can target several different variables all at once. And that makes it the easiest way to target your clientele, which you haven't been able to do in the past before Facebook existed. So if you purchase an email list, you may be able to get people who recently bought a home or people who live in this zip code. But let me tell you another thing. Those aren't going to be necessarily the Facebook email that they use to log into their Facebook account. And that is not good for you because you need to touch your clientele usually seven or eight times before they even express any interest in you. So if you just send out an email, of course it's important to stay engaged with your, with your prospects and keep you atop of their mind. Keep, yeah, keep you atop of their mind. But, you guys want to meet my dog? This is Kokus. Say hi. Hello. But the problem with that is when you're emailing them, you're not going to email them every single day for days and days and days. You're probably going to irritate them and they're going to remove them from your list, remove themselves from your list anyway. But if you have the email that they use to log in on Facebook, you then can put ads in front of the people that you select with the specifications that you want and the stereotypes that you know are attracted to your service or your product. So, Yes, how may I help you? <laughs> She's tapping me. So if you have the Facebook email that they use to log in, you can then put your offer in front of them day in, day out in their news feed. And it's just like when they're scrolling through their news feed, they see you. And eventually after seven or eight times, they're going to go, huh, I need that product. I need that service. And I keep seeing this in my news feed. So that must be the product or service that I need to purchase from them. And you can do email automation. You can create a series of emails that get sent out automatically to your prospects, gives them more information about what you have to offer, and therefore they're, you're getting them from both ends, on their Facebook and in their email. Of course you have the option for video, which I talk a lot about all the time because I'm very adamant about video. If you're not using video in this day and age, you are behind and you won't be here in the long run. So you want to use video, you want to use email automation, and you want to use Facebook advertising. And purchasing 
emails from an email list is not necessarily the best way because that's only one way to hit your clientele. My dog's about to bark because someone's walking by. So the other thing is, oh, she's not, that's nice. So the other thing is once you have created you're ready to hit your market, you know, you're live, you're an active business, and you want to find these exact people that are your perfect purchaser, your avatar. Who is your avatar? Think about who that person is. If you were to speak to just one person, who would that person be? That person that is most likely to purchase your service or show interest in your product or service that you offer, that's your avatar. And so you're able to target your avatar on Facebook directly and then you can build your email following. And those emails that you use are going to be hot leads. They're not going to be just shoot an arrow in the dark. It's a numbers game. A bunch of them will come back and that's it. No, you are going to get hot leads. These are leads that are people that will find themselves in your warm market very quickly, very interested in your product or service that you have to offer. And they will want what you have to offer. And it's just how you offer it, how you say it, and things like that that are going to make them actually take the next step and purchase from you and create a relationship with you. Facebook is an awesome social media platform because it's about storytelling. It's about sharing stories, sharing feelings, sharing emotions. I told you, I tell you all the time, you can see things on Facebook. You can use your facial expressions and like right now you can hear my voice. So you might feel more connected to me than if you were just reading an email from me. So this is a good way to bond, to create a relationship with someone. And once you create the relationship and you feel the emotions, you are more inclined to purchase from that person. So I really want you to think about when you're trying to market your business. Of course, if you need help, you can reach out to us, melissmarketing.com. I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to add answer any questions you may have if you comment below or private message you pri private message me so if you're thinking about expanding your business please start with lead generation and email automation but don't just go purchase a random email list really think about your strategy and I'm telling you this is the best strategy always start with lead generation through Facebook advertising because you're gonna get hot leads that are already interested in what you have to offer alright good luck and have a great weekend